The user-defined bit sequence generator can be used to generate a sequence that is user-defined. The bit sequence generator can be connected to a binary sequence visualizer so that the output sequence can be seen. Double-clicking the block shows the main properties. Double-clicking beside bitrate, we can change the bitrate of the block to base it on other parameters or to make it get its value from a function. Pressing Evaluate, we can see what the bitrate is currently defined as. If we want to change the value of bitrate defined for the entire project, we can double-click on our workspace and the Global Parameters window will open up. In the Global Parameters window, the bitrate for the project as well as the other global parameters may be changed. Now returning to the bit sequence generator and pressing Evaluate Script, we can see that the bitrate has been updated. Before we test out the bit sequence generator, I'm going to change the number of leading and trailing zeros so we can easily observe the output. Calculating the project and checking the visualizer, we can see that the bit sequence displayed is exactly as expected. Going back into the bit sequence generator, you can see that the bit sequence currently entered can be changed to whatever you wish it to be. We can also change the bit sequence definition to use a bit sequence that comes from a file. To do this, change the bit sequence definition box from explicit sequence to file and then search for the data file that contains the bit sequence. On my screen you can see the file that contains the bit sequence. Upon calculating the project, we can see that the bit sequence shown in the visualizer is exactly the same bit sequence from the file. Going back to the bit sequence generator, we can also change the bit sequence definition to be dependent on non-zero bits. To define which bits should be non-zero, we must enter the bit location of each non-zero bit and separate each by a space. Running the program and clicking on the visualizer, we can see the output sequence is as expected. One last thing we can do is make the bit sequence repeat. Currently it is set to repeat every sequence length. The sequence length is defined by the global parameters and is currently set to 1024. As a demonstration, we can change the repeat interval to repeat every 20 bits and test it out. Now we can calculate the project and check the sequence out on the visualizer. As you can see, the sequence starts to repeat itself after 20 bits as we expected.